Okay, we are back for the final segment. Here we go. We have our screws that are uh, tightened uh, out of the mouth, and we wanted to make sure that we cut the right length. And the, li the length is 9 millimeters. We measured it with the bully gauge. But I just wanted to uh, verify the threads were polished and um, try and you can see it's just a little bit countersink right there so it will not come out the end when we go to tighten that down. It's only going to be maybe a quarter thread tightener tightened. Uh, I'm going to go about 20 newton centimeters squared on tightening it down and so we double check both now and same thing for this one here. All right, and you can see we had to ream out that other one to get the diameter identical. So there we are. We're bottomed out all the way. Uh, the only thing that we don't know as much about is our friend right here. So we'll be seeing that in the mouth. Right now, this is going to get tightened down back in the mouth. That's the IMC and number 20. And so, Ron, we're going to bring you back now. So we'll get you in position of the microscope. You okay? All right. I didn't know how much you. <laughs> I see you got your protective eyewear on, so you didn't really watch a lot of that dental laboratory work. But uh, now we're going to get into the nit and gritty here and finish up. Okay. So let's put together our uh, IMC in the wrench. It's very simple. Bottom that out. Tighten, 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 and. Um, now we're going to go ahead and dry out the mouth. I'll get that in focus. And I'll thread that in. go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten our uh, abutment. There we go. And just double check that. Yep, that's it. That's five minutes. I'm going to pop this out. And um, hand tighten the one in the back. And we'll go ahead and torque it down. Just double check on that. Yep, that's it. Now both abutments are are in, they're torqued down. We're gonna dry them off. Already put the bridge in. And we get our screws ready to put them in as well. And that's how it goes in. And we can take a look underneath and uh, notice that our fit is so much better now. We got a nice, nice even seat on both. That's even without the screws, and it looks like everything is going to go down perfectly for you, Ron. So we're finishing up, and we're going to go with our first screw. We we'll just have Jen, you go ahead and hold that like so. I'll get the screwdriver ready. Okay, we'll put our first screw in. Okay, you know what, I'm going to make this a little easier for everybody. Let me just drop that one in first, and then we'll drop the other one in. Okay. There goes number two. Now this is a sweet sight right here. Uh, 
Okay, that's hand tightened. So these screws are custom fit. They're nine millimeters each. Um, we're hand tightening today, but we're going to torque them down. I really feel that, uh, again, we'll match up the amount of torquing. From one to the other. I uh, tighten this one. That's it. That's the one in the back. I got to be extremely careful because of the threads. We don't want to strip. That was the uh, one that had the damage internally. Okay. That's beautiful. Look at that. They're down nice and solid. Solid as a rock. And that's the way you do it. So now we're going to walk away a little bit. You know what's next is just a little bit of wax and then some composite to go down in there. I don't need to show that at this point, but uh, I'm going to walk away. Sometimes the metal, although it's heating up in the mouth, it, it may be a little more elastic and then we can torque that down. So uh, we'll see you in five minutes.